The Georgia Farm Bureau held its annual commodity conference in Tifton recently. During the event, organizers took time to honor former state Senator Ross Tolleson with the GFB Commodity Award. The award recognizes individuals for outstanding service and contribution to Georgia's agriculture. When we visited with Senator Tolleson in his hometown of Perry, it was evident that he is proud to be part of the long history of Houston County's community leaders. I had a guy from Portland, Oregon. And my name, Thorben Ross, came from Portland, Oregon. My grandfather ran in the Army, ran a sawmill in Portland for, in World War I for the government. And his best buddy was J. Thorben Ross. And so my dad was named Thorben Ross Tolleson, and then I was named Thorben Ross Tolleson Jr., and my son's the third. And that guy said, we got a bridge named after that guy. I said, well, that's named after me too. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, they care because they were born and raised in Perry, Georgia. And you had that small town where everybody helped each other and you care. I mean, I care tremendously. Tolleson is quick to say he never focused on his own political career while serving in the Senate. The titles don't mean anything to me because it's not about me. It's about working hard with everybody else to make Georgia move forward. That's what it's about. It ain't about me. He called the work he did with natural resources and the state's environment a rewarding experience. He said that's the reason he's so excited about the commodity award from Georgia Farm Bureau. Well, I always work with people because it, it's not about me. And, and I really seriously mean that. And that's what's wrong with Washington, D.C. today. They don't even want to have a discussion with each other. Well, how are you going to solve a problem? You know? And the way I look at it, you talk to everybody. If they want to come in and sit down and talk about whatever the issue is, sit down and talk about it. No, I won't get everything I want. No, you won't get everything you want, but you know, the state of Georgia might win. And that's the way I look at it, you know? And uh, I think that it, it paid big dividends. I really do. The former state senator was responsible for overseeing the Flint River drop protection legislation, as well as protecting Jekyll Island's pristine shoreline because you need somewhere like Jekyll that's at peace. But if you go to Jekyll, it's so at peace, you know, and you can actually go down there and stay and walk on the beach and relax. You need a place like that. Although Tolleson announced last fall he was leaving the Senate because of health concerns, he told us he won't sit on the sidelines. I still think that we've got great potential moving forward for industry and agriculture. God just gave me another route to go. <laughs> and I am not gonna sit on the porch and not say something. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna talk about America. I'm gonna talk about the greatness of this country. I'm gonna be positive about it all the way because that's what we need to do. We gotta get positive about our dialogue about America. And my wife, uh, bless her, she is such a, a blessing to me. I am so lucky to have that woman, she really, I mean, she put up with 13 years of me being in the Senate and being gone all the time and traveling all over the United States, and I just thank God for her. I really do. I'm a blessed man, and I love her to death. She is so awesome. Just a great person. And join us next week as the Monitor continues its coverage of this year's GFB Commodity Conference.